<laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's now you have to mix it. Take your finger. <laughs> I'm so hygienic Maybe. though, but this will have to do. I'm pretty sure someone is getting uh, aroused when I do this, which is making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> It is. Well, there it is. Hello. Welcome to Witty Eats German Sweets. These have been sent in by Lauren to House. Big box here. Like opening a Christmas present. Ah, that says read me. You can ignore the first letter outside of the bag. Now it's pointless. What do you mean ignore it now that I've got it? Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to ignore it. You can't just tell me I have to ignore this letter now. That's right in front of me. It says instruction. Dear Witty, I know you really dislike it when someone tell you what you have to do and what not, but I really would appreciate it when you open the blue bag only on the next Saturday stream. Well, today's Friday. You will understand it when you open the bag and read the letters I put in the bag. And you can't practice the German words or phrases you requested. And I apologize for my bad English. Sincerely, Simon. Your English is fine, Simon. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here's what we're dealing with. A big blue bag. There's a whole... Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of goodies inside of there, so... I'm going to take them out one at a time. Oh, wait. There's another letter. Is this letter going to be saying, sorry, not sorry? You know, the funny thing is, is I actually recently, only just a few days ago, started going super healthy fit. Where I basically cut off all chocolate, sweets, and everything like that and you're gonna see there's a <laughs> there's a lot of sweets here so these are the only sweets i'm going to be having no other chocolate or sweets or whatever that isn't from this this bag <laughs> greetings well there it is my name is simon and i live in, in nord rhine westfalen north rhine westphalia in the western part of germany near cologne i am 27 years old and i am a german soldier so i can only enjoy you and your amazing stream on weekends because I have to be in the barracks during the week. And the internet there is very shitty. Every time on Fridays I come home, turn on my PC and go in straight to Twitch. And I hope you didn't start the stream without me. But in one of the, your darkest hours with a headache and 4v4 RT bullshit, I took it too far. I, oh yeah, this is where I banned you. I just cared for you too much and you misunderstood it in this situation. Now this is where you're going to get yourself banned again. Because you put it in a context that makes it and phrases it as it's my fault. And that never goes well. I tried to apologize me for my dumb comment. There you go, that's better. But soon after that, you banned me and my fate was sealed. And again, I'm trying to say I'm sorry for this. I learned my lesson and I will rethink the next time. Well, isn't that fantastic? We're making progress. People are starting to rethink their actions after I banned them. When you were at the edge of insanity. Because of the 4v4 RT book. I feel like you're really pushing to unlock it. <laughs> Leave us in useless teammates. What appropriate and inappropriate is. Even if you've banned me, I'll keep my promise. And so, well, there it is. As you ordered your own German sweets care package, it contains a variety of different sweets. Some are very sweet, some are very nutty, some are salty, and some are gummy. I asked my comrade, who is of British descent, which German sweets aren't sold in England. He said I could send you a lot of German chocolate and gummy bears and such a stuff because his niece and nephew enjoy them very much, so I did. If you want, we can talk in Discord about the sweets and the German words and phrases if you have any questions. I hope you enjoy this kind of gift. Mit Freundlichen... No, wait, I've done that wrong already. Mit Freundlichen Grüschen, I think. Simon, aka Sierre, your shitey paladin healer in boss battle, aka Lauren Tahals. And now it's time to learn some German. Oh my days, what is this? First, read the German part in the middle. If you need help, unfold the right part. After that, you can read the translation on the left side. Good luck and have fun. Shall we do these after a bit of chocolate or in between chocolate? Because there's a whole bunch of German phrases here. <laughs> so I can sort of do one in between every chocolate I have. Let's start off with... Kinder Schokobans. These are definitely going to be good. They look like a chocolate peanut. I could just do that, to be fair. Right. So far, so good. Hmm. It's got like a creamy inside. Felt a little bit crispy as well as I was making my way through like the midpoint to the center. Really, really nice. I suppose we can give these like a bit of a scoring system. 
obviously it's just rough, but um, if we say out of 10, I will start off with something like 8 out of 10, because I really do like those, and they're very, very tasty. It's time for a German phrase now. Hello, wie geht's dir? And that means hello, how are you? Greetings. Oh, wow. Knoppers. <laughs> very strange packaging, look at this. It's so weird. I've never seen anything like this in England. So you've got like a, a sticky tape here that I assume you can sort of peel off or tear this off so you can have them individually. I feel like I'm going to break them. There we go. Hmm. Oh, yeah, nice. Waffer biscuit. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of dark. It's not dark chocolate. It's just a nice sort of chocolate filling. Fairly milky, but kind of pasty in a way. So it does taste a little artificial. But I would do enjoy eating that. A 6.5 out of 10. It's actually a little bit nutty as well. Oh, hey. Oh, fucking hell. I... Oh, hey. I muted my headset completely. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking the whole time and... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I've been there and done that before. Well, welcome. This is Lauren to house. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Ich habe die Apfel gefunden. So that sounds like I found an apple. I found the apples. Yes. And it's got an A with the two dots above it. Is that called an umlaut? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I um, learned German in school, but I've forgotten a lot of it. Yes, you learned German in school? Yeah. Oh. Only, I mean, it's, yeah. It's I, surprising. I, I, what I remember, though. Yeah, exactly. Surprising. <laughs> Next one, we have Maum, which I like to call Maum. 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 So within the big block are like five or so of these little squares. So these look like Apple Jacks or Black Jacks. Black Jacks would make your tongue turn black. Tasted like licorice or the oh. apple one tasted like apple. When I used to do soccer as a kid, my mum used to, on the weekends, it was a treat, sort of like get me one of these, I think they're like 60p mm. at the time, a bag of mixed sweet. It would contain a bunch of these, like these kind of banana flavored sweet and all this kind of stuff. All sorts mm. of different flavors. Can't smell too much. Very tough. But you can already taste a lot. Oh, it's like Coca-Cola. It's, it's jam-packed. Loads of flavor in that. Very fruity, very flavorsome, chewy sweets. So that's a that's like an 8.5 out of 10 or something in terms of that. Because there's loads of flavor in that. Blimey, I was knocked away with that. I can still taste it. It's like it's fizzing. These are the Coca-Cola flavored ones. These would be the strawberry ones. Orange, lemon, and raspberry. So that's cool. They're called taffies. All right, taffies. <laughs> you know the O with the two umlauts, or whatever the umlaut above it? How do you pronounce uh. that? Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> ich möchte 20 mit Burten. Carbon. <laughs> I think that's. I feel like that was pretty perfect, to be honest. I want. It was quite good. It says, I want 20 Metbrochen. So, Brochen. Brüche, it's minced Brüche. spice pork that is eaten raw as a spread. You yeah, know, well, the Germans love their meat, don't they? So, yeah. yes. Werther's original. Zart und Schmelzen. Don't bite on it. Yeah, because it'll break my teeth. Because I thought this is what old people normally have. They always advertise it's like really like elderly people, but you'd think the last thing they'd want to be eating is something that's going to break their teeth. Smell the caramel very strongly. Are these like the rejected sweets from Quality Street, though? You know how if you have a Quality Street tin and the last sweets are always those toffee ones left over? It's actually a bit softer as well. I can actually chew for it. And it's very caramelly, creamy, super creamy and caramel. Actually tastes better than I was expecting. It's got a bit of an acquired taste though, because there's a bit of a sharp tang at the end. I would go five out of 10 on those. We've got Give another- Give one sec. I have to carry my lasagna out of the stove. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm back. How'd you do that so quickly? I have a tiny flat. Oh right, I was going to say, you burnt your hands or something. No time to put gloves on, just <laughs> take it out. Preparation is the key. Sha. Sure. Well, that is the German fee. Okay, am I being, <laughs> yes. am I being offensive? I feel like I'm being offensive when I say that, but maybe I can get no, away No, 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 no. It's a stereotype. And For good reason, though. Uh, very efficient. Ich und mein Holz, which means <laughs> me and my wood. There's a German song about this. Yes. Ah, German Haribo Saft Goldbar mit 25% yes. Fruchtsaft. So that's <laughs> fruit juice yes. or something? I don't know. Yes, yes, it's fruit juice. Ah. It's, um... So there's apple, banana, cherry, orange, peach, and raspberry. 
Mm. Yeah, that's German a bit more rich. Are, German sweets are always the same taste, variety, mm. always strawberry, raspberry, sometimes banana, cola, and so on. Yeah, I would give that a 6 out of 10. It's not blowing me away. They feel very by the numbers. They have like that mm -hmm. flavor there, but not like, wow. And they sort of do the job and they're enjoyable. They're a bit tough, a bit too hard to chew down. Something to work your way on maybe okay. whilst you're watching in a movie theater. But not bad. By the way, by any means, do not take offense to me like saying 6 out of 10 or so. Like, I'm grateful or something. I'm super grateful for this. This is oh, really it's, it's, awesome. It's, like, I really do appreciate this. Thank you so much there. Just sort of like doing it in the sense of if I was taking the sweets, you know, and being fair. If that makes we sense. We both invested um, very much time in this package. <laughs> What's that again? Me too. Say it, say that again. Package. Now you spent so much time or something on package or something like that. I spent so much time for this package. Me to collect all the stuff and sort ah. it out and uh, write the letter. And you to even get the package on your side. Yeah, that was its own <laughs> thing. So that was all fun. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's worth it in the end. I do really do appreciate this. I hope so. I hope so. Duna is das <laughs> lecheste Essen de Feld. Donner kebab is the tastiest food in the world. Yes. Really? <laughs> no, that's not my response to it. I was just looking at the O thing. Ach, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how the, you were saying with the umlaut thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ferrero Duplo. Schmeckt nuspelicht. Ah. Lots of little bars. Oh, this looks nice though. So this is like a chocolate bar. It's got a picture of a hazelnut, I believe, on the front. Got like these ripples. It's called in Germany, the longest praline in the world. Still. I don't know why. That is really, really nice. That is, it's got like a wafer, crispy inner layer. Kind of a chocolate you can sort of nibble the sides off. Really good. That's an 8.5 out of 10. Easy, easy. Wow, that's, oh, really good. Typisch Deutsches. Frühstück. <laughs> Typical German Typisch breakfast. Deutsches Frühstück. 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 Ah. It's perfect, right? Uh, it's I can't even say fine. Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne without people pulling up my F and my TH. So expecting me to pronounce these umlauts perfectly is a, a little bit picky, don't you think? Right, this is the most anime one. Katja's Yogurt Gums. Looks like a pear drop. Again, in uh, different uh, flavors. Uh, mm. Mm. Lemon, banana. The texture is like soft chew, but as you do so, if, yeah, you can uh, sort of see there's a lot of sugar sort of. Um, I think they'd be good for a car journey, but you could go through them quite quickly. The flavor's definitely there. But I'm not as keen on the flavor as I have been with Maum or Muaum blocks. Those ones were like really good. So these would get something like a 7 out of 10. Kukuk. Surin Fabrik, Cuckoo Clock Factory, Bird Plus Clock. I read it as Bird Plus Cock. Cuckoo Surin Fabrik. Could you pronounce it for me? Like Cuckoo's Uhren Fabrik. Did you say Cuckoo or Cuckoo? Cook, Cook, Ook. What? Where's this Ook? Cuckoo, Cuckoo, Cook. Oh, Crimson Rollers. I scoffed through these in my early 20s when I was playing World of Warcraft like mad. I think it was like Lidl's or Aldi's would sort of like sell these and you'd get packets of them and obviously you're not supposed to eat the whole packet but I'd end up eating the whole packet. This one was in the uh, newspaper because it's um, one of less used sweets in Germany and so the fabric said that they don't want to produce them anymore. So you have a very rare item um sweet. i just opened it i could have sold it <laughs> <laughs> i just destroyed the packaging that's the last thing you want to do when you pick up like these star wars figures and stuff like that yes gotta savor it then oh yeah yeah it's got that kind of that's one of the things i used to you can sort of smell the can, um, um the sort of the biscuit there, base uh, there it tastes even better when you um have a, a glass of uh, milk Mm, I can see that, yeah. It's very dry, mm. and with some milk, it's very, very tasty. You're right. Really, really nice. 
And that's without the milk. With the milk, it'd be even better. So, 8 out of 10 on those, because I love those. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Tactic Mag Seinen Feuerlord. Was that good enough? How would you say it? Uber Tactic Feuerlord. Ah. Uh. Overclocked likes his fire lord. This one looks really interesting. They're called Noppers Nuss Regal. They're um, a new one. They come in three different flavors. First, the normal one, second, with cocos, and the third one with uh, peanuts. Okay. There's a lot but going on I... there. It reminds me of like a double decker, the size of it, and sort of like the different layering. So it tastes like hazelnut. It's a bit of creaminess. Toffee with little biscuit bits inside of it. Or something lion bar, maybe. Quite light, actually. You'd think by the packaging that it would be like really heavy. That's, that's like an 8 out of 10. I'm not saying this to you, though. I'm just reading this out no, loud. No, no, no. Arschloch. Which will be Nearly arsehole. perfect. Nearly perfect. With the Germans, it feels like there's a lot of schle, schle, Cause it's even in there. It's like dot, deutsch, and like the S-C-H. Yeah. They love that. So you got to yes, kind of pronounce yes. it that way. Oh! Ah, what? Look at this. All right, this is the Caches brand. Uh, Salsi oh, oh. Kain. <laughs> Don't open if it if you want to ruin your uh, evening. Right. Is it's, it like um, licorice or something? I don't really like them. My mom likes it a lot. <laughs> uh, it's called in Germany Lakritz. It's very, very bitter. Sour sort of, is it? Because I, I, I'm looking at them and I can sort of picture chewing into them and feeling that yeah. kind of like that bitterness. But it, it feels like it's going to really... The thing is, is I quite like sour sweets a bit more these days. Packed with flavor. I think I should go for it. I'm only going to have one, or at least a bite out of one. And we'll put them to the test. Yeah, I want you. Seems innocent enough. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, you can smell it, right? It makes me think of, um... Oh, oh, what are those sweets? Sort of like the black and white layers. They're square. There's lots of different varieties. Bassets, all sorts, licorice or something like that. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? I told you, I told you! <laughs> that is so strong. I told you. I it's like a really them. bitter licorice. I, it's like, I oh. really, really hate them. I don't hate them. You know, they, we used to have these things in the UK, which we probably still do. They're called Sherbet Fountain. And I used to have too, man, too many of these kids. It's basically just a tube. And inside this tube is just a whole bunch of sugar, effectively. So white sugar. It's probably called something else, but it's sherbet or whatever. And um, you get a black piece of licorice. And you're supposed to lick yes. the licorice and dip it in. And then sort of like, you know, sort of suck off the sugar, the sherbet. And then when you're yes, finished, yes, you I have that licorice. This. And it tastes just like that. That kind of, you would still eat it because you was greedy. Yes, mm. I told you, we call it la kritze. La kritze. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, all right. There's a whole packet of those. I'm gonna have to find a way to eat those. Like, it's it's not bad. I actually give them like um, a six point five out of ten, because if you're eating them for what they are, really, really, are you lost? Your really, <laughs> for what they are, they're actually good. But. In comparison to the others, yeah, they wouldn't score very high, if that makes sense. But as their own product, treating it as its own thing, they're actually well made. They taste good. Like, it reminds me of that licorice flavor, so... Okay, next time you get a whole package of only... only no, 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 <laughs> no. If I was to skip any of them, it would be that. You're just <laughs> upset I gave them that score, because you don't like them so much. Mule. 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 Mul. Yes. Mul. Trash. Yes. 4 versus 4 RT. Yeah. So it's in relation to 4 versus 4 RT or anything that could be called an OP monster custom game map. Gear. It's a G I E R, which is greed. Gear. Money is yes. good. Gear. 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 I can't like really do it. Um... Ooh. What is this? These are Lach Gummies. Fruct Gummi oh. mit Vitamins. Oh, well, if you ever need vitamins, the first place to go get them is from sweets. 
one one of the best German sweets. Really. Are you a Fitamin yeah. guy or a Fitamin guy? I always call them Fitamins myself. Vitamina. Oh, Vitamina then. We're just complicating it even more, aren't we? Yes. The brand is Nim2, also Take2. Oh, right. I see the Nim2. Yeah, Nim2. Take two. We have green lime, raspberry or cherry, orange, lemon by the looks of it. This makes me think it's going to be like the gummy bears, but a bit more bouncy and it, sharper it's quite flavor. It's like, like the gummy bears Fruchtsaft. It is. It is. Yes. It's the same sort of toughness to chew through and stuff. But I prefer the flavors on these. Almost like a kind of a liquidiness to them in a way. There are some uh, liquid in it. Oh, uh, those are good. I can't remember what I gave the gummy bears. I think it was something like a 6 or a 6.5 out of 10. So I would give these like an extra point above the gummy bears. The würdige Waschbär ist ein Müllpanda. Der würdige Waschbär ist ein Müllpanda. Die würdige Waschbär. Ja, Waschbär. Waschbär. Bär. Like, like, um, like. But he's got the ear above it. Bär. Waschbär. Waschbär. Bär. But you, it's easy to say fash beer. Bear. Fash bear. Fash bear. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That's really, really good. The worthy raccoon is a trash panda. I'm not even sure he gets to be a panda. It's just trash. <laughs> we have Kinder Bueno. Oh. So. Yes. You can't really go too far wrong with the Kinder products. No. I always like those a lot. They're very rich and flavorsome. So these are going to be a bit more echoey, wafery <laughs> in the Dragon Dennis Kinder easy win. <laughs> oh, you can smell it as well. You can just smell like the chocolate, the cocoa sort of thing. Just even that. It's like got that creamy feeling. Very biscuity. Very soft creamy. Mm. You could scoff these so quickly though. Kinder, you can't go too far wrong. Like 8.5 out of 10. Easy. Samstag ist Pizza Tag. Saturday. Yes, tomorrow is pizza day. Yeah, Saturday is pizza day. Damn straight. <laughs> That's actually still quite a bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, wow, you do. I, you I are. You are kilograms. efficient. Efficient without a doubt. I. <laughs> <laughs> These look really interesting to me. Mm hmm. They look like they're going to be little tablets, maybe with a fair bit of flavour, but I could be completely wrong, but we'll see. They're Braus Bonbons. Ahoy, Brauser. Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy. Ahoy, That's Sailor! Yes, yes, yes. Ahoy, Sailor. <laughs> so you got orange, cola, citrine, which is called here, but that's like the German for... It's basically lemon, but it's called citrine here. Z-I-T-R-O-N-E. And then there's Himbeer, which is raspberry. Cola and orange. Oh, oh, wow. Look at these. I feel like these are going to just have tons of flavor. Um. Oh, goodness me. It's like a... Really right away. You can smell it from like... <laughs> that far away. Uh, busy. Busy. Oh, I like these little tablets. We used to have um, this medicine that was a um, tablet form, and it was supposed to be mm. for, like a, a stomach. But I used to eat them anyway, even when I didn't, because they tasted yes. so nice. They're so easy to eat. <laughs> wow, that's it. In the UK, we have these things called refreshers. They're amongst my favourite sweets of all time. I used to have them a lot in my teenage years and early twenties. Refreshers. Refreshers. I don't know. If they still do them. I'm certain that's what they're called. But they're like a cylinder packet. Yes, 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 I see. Right. I see, I see. And they're all little tablets and they're all like lined up with one another. And you can just, oh. Yes. You, I'm liking these a lot though. These are a 9 out of 10 for me. What? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Really? Because. That's cool. I think it's more of a nostalgic thing. Because like I say, I loved refreshers. And these taste just like them. They're very similar. Oh. I'm so. Oh, my heart is melting. Yeah, fizzy, <laughs> sort of fun, flavoursome. You can scoff them. You can mix them with chocolate. It's why, partly why I used to get them because when I used to finish work or something, I'd go treat myself, go to the supermarket, buy a bunch of chocolate. But if you just have only chocolate, then it just tastes horrible. Do you see what I mean? When you're watching the movies, you kind of want to yes. have some. 
yes. fizzy kind of like a sweets the to variety. go with the chocolate yes. and then it makes everything pop so we have the duplo choc nuts <laughs> Falls apart a bit more than, than the Kinder one. Very creamy, tasty. With a hazelnut in it. That's it. It actually has that. That's, a, that's why it fell apart then. Yeah, I can see it now. This is pretty rich. It's a little, uh, so it's a bit too pasty. Well, I call it pasty in a way that, you know, if you had like a tube of toothpaste or something like that, but it's like chocolate paste. And you just sort of like, you can imagine like them just putting it out as a spread. It's like a spread of chocolate tastes a little artificial in that sense. So basically, whatever I gave the Kinder Bueno, I would give these like half a point less or something. It's basically the same product. I'm actually really kind of filled up already, but I'm gonna make it for the rest of these. Schwacht den der Munen Jäger. <laughs> I agree with this one though. Nerf <laughs> Demon Hunter. So we are on to Hanuta. Hazel Nusch Schnitter. You Germans love your hazelnut. Yes. We love them. I mean, to be fair, hazelnut does go really well with chocolate. So yes. I'm just working out how to open this one. It's actually kind of like very well built, the box. An opening um, anywhere. I made one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you remember these from earlier? I'm seeing a sort of similarity in terms of the packet style. Yeah. It's actually kind of good in a way, at least for convenience. This one's a little bit wasteful to the environment, if I was to go say that, because essentially um, each piece is its own like packaged product. But it's very good for if you was going traveling or something like that, you didn't want to make a mess. Yes, in the past uh, they came with aluminium foil. Foil, Wait. right. So you can recycle it easier. Ah, because at least the box definitely looks like it can be. It's just a plastic. I can imagine that going well with milk as well. It's like biscuit wafer on the outside, but hardish chocolate filling with like little hazelnut bits that I can see. Very easy to fill up on those, I imagine. They're deceptive. They look like they'll be light, but I think if you have a couple of those or even just, yeah, just that, you'd be quite satisfied, really. Uh, as for score, got to be 7.5 at least out of 10. Griefe nimals einer on Torten basis an. Oh wow. Never attack an undead base. Truer words have never been spoken. It's yeah. always funny to hear an English speaking guy. Did you like the Dorden uh, TD though? The Dodel TD, which I think means dick or something. Um, no. <laughs> uh, doodle, doodle. Doodle, yeah. Doodle, doodle. doodle it's, um, it's an old word for um, penis. <laughs> Right, because I did a tower defense based on that. There's a German tower defense for Warcraft 3. Um, it's a slang word. Yeah, you could say it's a slang word. All oh, right. Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Milka! Yeah, Milka. You can imagine some like really angry guy looking at the camera and go, Milka! Bye! A cheeky looking cow. Yes, uh, I have to say the German children sings all cows are purple. <laughs> Some. Purple cows. Do you, um, do you oh. know Milka? Um, did you ever eat it? What, this before? No. Mm? No, I've It's had... one of the best uh, German chocolates. Yeah, I it's can smell it. Very high quality. Had it almost like a weird kind of flashback to when I was about 16 or so. I went to Belgium on a school trip and we went mm. shopping for Belgian chocolate. It was a cruise. Mm. So we cruised over to there and then when we landed, the teachers took us around to the shops. I I had like the best and worst day in the sense that my mum left me a tenner, but I didn't see the tenner. So I didn't have any money when I went there. And it, all the other kids had like loads of money to spend and I had nothing. So I had to get a couple of friends to buy some chocolate for me. It's like, oh, they were like, I want to use my money to buy my own chocolate. It's like, well, I had to, because we were there like with Belgian chocolate and stuff. I had to get some of it. So yeah, it's like the same smell when you go into some of those shops. Miss uh, one of rich, but nice and creamy. It's not too overwhelming. Uh, just buy it from the bar. Are you insane? <laughs> what am I supposed to you do? To rip it up. You have to break it and eat it piece for piece. What? It's like you are biting a, a, a Kit Kat from the side. It's like I'm an animal. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. There's a piece. Hmm. It's not strictly like a Galaxy Bar in the UK, because those are almost a bit too sweet. It's somewhere in between a Galaxy Bar and like a Dairy Milk, I would hazard a guess. It's got a really sort of nice aftertaste. We can give that one a 9 out of 10. It's got that kind of consistency that it could just sort of like melt away, like that creaminess. New bite right uh, directly from the bar, reminding me from the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. All right, yeah. The jolly kid is eating the whole bars and with the chocolate um, around his mouth. That's the German way, though, isn't it? You gotta, uh, no. you gotta, you gotta <laughs> attack it full on. Von der Mitte, Sutite, Sumsack, Sack, Sack. <laughs> I'll that let people look that one up really, themselves. really, really good. That was really, really good. German toast. It's a rhyme. When did you sort of yes. like come across that phrase then? When you are sitting in a bar and you are with your pals and then you say, uh, von der Mitte zur Titte zum Sack, Zack, Zack, with a beer in the hand and toasting to each other. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Hoi, browser, browser pulver. Yes, it's quite similar to the pellets. You can lick your finger and stick your finger in it. It's, it's quite similar, but... Oh! As I can see now from the packaging, it's going to be like fizzy pop. There's something familiar about them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just opened it. Puff powder just pushed upwards. Very, very strong smell. So you're supposed to put Careful. these in a drink or something? In one liter, you can uh, fill one package in. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The clips are flying in in the chat, I see. Yeah, there's a few too many clips. I'll just have to purge the internet. It's almost a bit too diluted, though. Maybe it's too much water. There's like a headache. Powder. It makes it taste like lemonade, basically. I think I'd be more interested in just sort of eating straight from the packet or something. Really interesting, um, uh, though. The idea of it. Um, in Germany, there is a test of courage to sniff it. <laughs> I did earlier. It's like, that's what I mean. It, it's so strong, the smell. If you just like down that, that would like, phew, you just sort of like explode. So that's why you kind of dilute it mm -hmm. with water. But then the downside is it's just kind of like uh, more flavors and water. So I don't normally have water for flavor. No, it's really strong. That's so zesty. Mm -hmm. And then you get like these little crystals that attach and you just lick those off. That's really nice. Really, really, oh, flavor, flavor. Loads of it, it's just fizzing and I'm gonna mm -hmm. do a little bit of this. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't do all of it. You, it's fine, <laughs> but it's like I say, the flavour is really, really like powerful. I can feel it tingling away, and really nice, really nice. I like this one a lot. I didn't like it so much in the water. I wasn't impressed, but this on its own, I think, mm. really is tasty and it's unique. I want to give this like a nine out of ten. Libnes das original ne echt mit fifty zwei Sachen butter keks. Keck W's. They're very thin. Do you see how I said very thin there? That was a mispronunciation because that's not how you say it, except that's how I say it because that's just my accent. Or rather how I pronounce things. You're from Essex, so... Essex, scum of the universe. <laughs> They're really nice little wafers. You went to a restaurant, had like an ice cream sundae, and they put a wafer in the top. It's a little bit it's like that. Yeah, these are really cool. You get a lot of them as well. Like then you can see it goes there, so it's gonna be like that, 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 that. They're nice and crispy, easy to eat. I would have to give them like an eight out of ten or mm -hmm. something. I can't sort of like give them ten out of ten because they're essentially kind of plain in a way in comparison to the other flavoursome stuff that I've had. But I like them a lot. They are really, really nice. Brüchen bun, Eichhornchen squirrel. Streichholzschlacht, no, Streichholzschachtel, <laughs> which is Matchbox. I feel like I'm spitting a lot when I'm saying that one. Ah, I love it. We have Hanuta Riegel, Milch and Nusch. A lot of these are quite similar to that Kindo Bueno. Hazelnut, Praline. It's all like. the same. Never change the running system. Yeah. I like the little biscuity almond looking bits on top, although that's probably the hazelnut. It is rich in the sense of how creamy and flavoursome it is. Sort of like a paste. It's not toffee. I must, it must be like maybe even a hazelnut paste or something underneath it as well. It's not toffee. It's really what you said. Uh, it's a hazelnut paste. Right. Feeling the texture of that. I think that holds up very well. So again, it's like, you know, it's just eight or nine out of ten. You know what I mean? Like it's way up there. Yes. You Germans do quite well for your chocolates. Happy hippo. Hippopotamus. It's quite crumbly, so I've got to be careful. Oh, 
I was uh, worried about that, uh, that those kind of things are getting destroyed. Yeah, I can see. That, well, they all yes. held up really well. This one's like much more pasty and more of a filling inside of this crumbly biscuit wafer outer layer. It's between like 6.5 and a 7 out of 10. It's not quite on the same level, or at least for me personally, for my flavoring. I almost feel confused with this one more than anything else. <laughs> I don't get it. Fishes, fritz, fished, frischer, fish, fisher, fisher, fished, fishes, fritz. Fischers, fritz, fished. Frische Fische, frische Fische, Fisch, frische Fischers, Fritz. Kinder Country. These look like little chocolate bars with sort of nutty flavoring. Do you know the, the, the brand Kellogg? Kellogg's, with yep. The, with the honey, or I would say. Honey Kellogg's, okay. So on the top it's, it's solid, like and then it's got that kind of rough biscuity kind like of like inside. Kellogg's Max in it. Kellogg's Max. And you know what I mean? Like, can. Oh, yeah! Sent you in. It is. I actually don't like it very much. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, I'm disappointed. But I don't want to disappoint you. It's like where all these cereals were doing these cereal bars, which would essentially have yes, your milk yes, inside of them or something like that. It is just mm -hmm. like that where it's supposed to be an equivalent, so you don't have to have cereal milk. You can just have this bar, and it's the same thing as having milk and cereal. Mm. But there's this kind of weird... Maybe it's just me that doesn't like it, because I never really like those bars that much, either. There's something okay. not... Okay, yeah, I... Oh, that's why! It's the Honey Nut Monster. Yes. You see that? I didn't like the maybe Honey you... Nut Monster. I never liked those growing up, so that's why. Because it reminds me of that. <laughs> I knew okay. something wasn't right. As soon as I started chewing into it, I was like, it's kind of a cross in between that. I can totally taste it now as well, especially, like, even more so after you said it. It's on the, it's on the tip of the tongue. Have you seen some of those adverts? There's some really weird adverts with the Honey Nut Monster. Oh, yes. Kinder yes, yes, yes. These look very convenient, <laughs> you know? Easily fit a couple of these in your pocket, no problem. The simple chocolate bars in Germany for children. Oh, yeah, now it's coming through. Took a moment there because I still had the taste from that honey nut monster. Maybe a sip of water uh, removes the taste. Sip of that <laughs> lemon water. Ah, that's just even weirder now. These are really, really nice. The last sentence I uh, dedicated to, to, to it. I would give this like an 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. Could go higher. I've had so many of these now, it's kind of like tainting the flavor a little bit of the, <laughs> the traditional flavor of what that bar is. It's very light, very easy to chew for the chocolate, the white fluffy layering creamy just hard to sort of describe what it is maybe milky bar but it's not really a milky bar that's the thing it's like it's a similarity but not you know when someone says you look like that guy and you look that person up and uh, yes, you go i yes, don't look yes, anything yes, like yes. that guy maybe the nose is similar but the eyes the mouth the head the yes. ears are all different but this person sees the nose and goes that's you do you know what i mean like yes. they just that makes up the whole piece for some reason <laughs> What is this? Suck until the white comes out. I love children's you really chocolate. <laughs> you will understand that phrase if you ate the Kinder Chocolata. <laughs> when you look inside, yes, it's a it's a German joke. Yeah? Lutschen bis das Weiße kommt. Ich liebe Kinder Schokolade. So what have I just eaten? It's it's. <laughs> it's got nice packaging, but I don't know wait, what's wait, really wait. in it. <laughs> the German in um. In, in in your chat will understand what I'm cheeky yeah, Germans I'm up to no good. <laughs> it's 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 for okay. fifteen years old, sixteen years old. They're saying it. Lutschen bis das Speise kommt ich lieber Kinder Schokolade, Kinder Cards. No. Oh, okay. So it's one of those ones where they got that kind of plastic packaging for each one. We have one, two, crumbly, crumbly. It's yes. like a mini SSD drive. Yes. Oh, I like the smell of that wafer. And the chocolate, not the best, because again, it's that kind of chocolate paste that I think a lot of these companies use a bit. Where it is chocolate, but it's like, because it's pasted on, it almost tastes, it then gives it that kind of artificial, like there's too many ink chemicals messing around. Definitely 8 out of 10. Wow, okay. 
because again, it's your taste, it's my taste. I think I think I'm really sold on the wafer, to be honest. Like I just like sniffing that. Spitzen zwei Spitzigen Zweigen. Sitzen zwei Spitzen den Schwabeln. I really butchered that one. That was hard. Zwetschgen Zweigen. Sitzen zwei zwitschernde Schwalben. Ritter Sport Erdbeer Yogurt. Oh. Strawberry Yogurt. Okay. Chocolate. Mmm. Pretty sickly. Especially at this stage after this much chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling like I've got that kind of you know what I mean like almost a nauseous kind of whoa, kind of feel I think I like the uniqueness of it it's, um, if I was having it just by itself and I hadn't had anything before at this point I think we could easily go 7 out of 10 on that one and if there was say for example a cherry flavoured one or something I would work that up the thing I like about it is it almost had this kind of fizziness to it when I was eating it soft I use the word creamy a lot but it is it just sort of melts a little bit as you're chewing. So you can easily get that strawberry flavor. Okay. I think we have nailed it. I always get really paranoid when I check in boxes I... and stuff like that. So I sort of always, like when I get a delivery, even if it's like one item, I sort of have to turn the thing upside down and all of that just to make sure that I haven't accidentally missed something. As far as I can tell, if I squish that up, you can definitely see that should be... So unless there's any chocolate in that, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, that should be done. That was it. That was everything I sent you. That was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much there. Shall I, really I do my top so. three? Or maybe top five might be better. Let's do that. But I'm going to be quick because I can't remember everything perfectly. But I know the few that definitely stand out to me the most. At number five, the Choco Bonds. Easy, pop them in, just chew them, just lovely, do the job. Chocolatey good flavor. Number four, I'm going to say the Noppers, actually. Because the these noppers. had like a little bit of everything. And there's a lot going on there. And I've always liked that out of a chocolate bar. Because it feels like if you're going to buy one, you want to get, you know, a lot going on there. Number three, which are those. <laughs> because they remind me of those refreshers. They're a little bit chalky, I yeah. get it. I, I an acquired taste. I think it's much more of a personal thing, these. Because they got that kind of nostalgic factor for me, I like these and they stand out to me. And I could easily see myself having them in between other things. So if I wanted to sort of like mix up my fruit and nut or something or chocolate, where you just have a few of these in between. Just does the trick. Number two <laughs> is the Milka. Yeah. This was really delicious like i say it's like a really good blend between like galaxy without the overly sweetness of galaxy bars and the dairy milk with the quality of it delicious so what i'll do is my number one and then i'll do my honorable mention so the honorable mention is okay. one that should have been up there in a way but i didn't quite calculate it correctly okay. it is mao no way really yeah I really like this. I was blown away. I was like, what? Is this so much flavor. Like, absolutely. I know yes. you're probably expecting a lot more of the chocolatey type things to win. And that might just be me, personally, that actually I'm I probably very, prefer very sweeter stuff surprised. to like chocolate. Even though obviously chocolate is sweet, but you know what I'm saying. Like, maybe that's just me personally. But, yeah. I, I mean, I haven't even tried the other flavors, but this Coca-Cola one, oh, I just, oh, that was really like, they're lovely. Really like you, you, wow, you're, okay, you're getting okay. some value. Do you know what I mean? Like you're, you're not just chewing to some mm. flavor, some like flavorless sweet or something like that. You'd actually go, oh, yes. Okay. So that was my number one. Now, can you guess what my honorable mention is? That would be like way up there in the top five somewhere, but you can place it wherever you want to place it in your imagination. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I would say the, 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 the Ahoy browser in, in the little packages. Yes, I believe that is them. Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> they, I mean, that green one was the one that I was like licking with my finger. Like that's over here. Mm -hmm. Like, I can, I, I'll drink a bit more of that. In the water, it's okay. It's basically like yeah. lemonade or something like that without 
being strictly lemonade it's some sort of weird cross hybrid so you know it doesn't quite taste right because you're just tasting water but if you just have it like again with your just your finger or something like that you can just dip mm. into it somehow again it's um, mm. again it's for children it's so and uh, when you put it in the water it's not like co uh, you are drinking coca-cola but they are drinking when they are want something sweet to drink so that you can mix it's just up. it's so sort of powerful in a way in a way like it's too sweet <laughs> and overwhelming but that's kind of what i like about it again it's similar to those ones is they just pop and that's what you want at least when it comes to sort of like this cool sort of comparison vibe, I felt like those were the winners. They stood out. You know, they were without mm. doubt the honorable mention out of all of these. So, what would I say is the worst one? Uh, the salty, fishy things. Yeah. It actually got a respectable <laughs> score of like 6.5. It's just I respected these for what they were. They're not trying to be chocolate or anything like that. They're not trying to be popping, refreshing sweets. They're freaking licorice. So it's not easy to make licorice as good as, you know, chocolate and stuff like that. This is it. Thank you very much once again, Lauren Tejals. Uh, did I pronounce that correctly? <laughs> it's yeah. okay, but you can still call me Lauren. It's all... So thank you once again, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> very, very much for sending over the sweet messages, the fun sort of like, uh, <laughs> you know, the little tongue twisters and phrases, even including some of the uh, memorable stuff that has occurred in the Twitch uh, yes. chat, as well as the people, you know. It's been incredible, actually. I, I really, 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 really appreciate this. Like, um, it, it took a lot of effort on your part to do this because you genuinely actually have to go do the legwork as well as just find the things and then put it all to Together and then the monetary case, you know, it's. Can you, for the love of God, snort the Ahoy Brawl? No, I'm not doing that. Someone wants me to snort that uh, Ahoy. Wow. Okay. So, thank you everyone very much for watching. This will be the end of the video section. So, make sure to thumbs up and say some sweet words for Lauren because this actually took a lot of effort on his part. <laughs> he may not say that, but it, without doubt, obviously did. So thank you very much, Lauren, again. And if you have anything to say, then please do so in the comment section below and just uh, just say something nice, you know. Or oh. out of all of these sweets, which one was your favorite and which one was your least favorite? The so, least favorite was the uh, salty fishes. The and my favorite one, I would say everything f from Kinder Schokolade is best. So I yeah. have no favorite. It's all the Kinder stuff. Yeah, that, I mean, that did yeah. stand out a lot. Yeah, when I was having that. Wow, what a, what an adventure! It's uh, it's been a blast. I'm really looking forward to going through those as well. Those mound blocks. Maybe next time you can you can uh, send me or yeah. tastes your favorite, and then I can send you again uh, a box. Uh, okay. With your specific ordered tastes. Yeah, yeah. You'll be my German hookup guy. <laughs> Sounds strange, but. <laughs> but not for hookers. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we start off with the sweets first and then go from there. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I know where, where this is going. Yeah, it goes down a dark <laughs> path in a few years' time. But it starts off sweet and fluffy for now.